Hi there, and welcome to this short video having a look at your personalized and customizable watch lists in more detail. As you can see there, I've got my product library right here. Uh, attached to any product library list that you brought up is the ability to save that as a watch list. So I've created one here with some of my favorite commodities. I'm just gonna go ahead and click there, and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and give this a name, such as uh, Fave Products, and then go ahead and click Save. And that will save that as a brand new watch list. Now, the watch lists give you a fair degree of uh, customization. So from the very top right here, um, you'll actually notice here that you've got a drop down menu. I can open up a price ticker tape, which kind of very much looks like this, uh, which you can stretch out across the whole trading platform. I quite like to look at this from time to time. Uh, it just makes the platform look um, quite interesting if you've got some of your friends around. Uh, but also you can open up a Reuters news module that's completely mapped specifically to the products within your watch list. This is a, actually a very, very cool feature to utilize. And if I click here, I can go ahead and click edit, and then I can change the colors and change the name, no problem at all. So if I want to change the name of that, I would just um, simply go ahead and, uh, and do that and say five fave comms. And then uh, if I go ahead and change that to blue or to yellow or to brown, and then click done, you can see the customization that you have. Now, one thing that's quite cool about this is you've got your product name, you've got the low, high of the day, your percentage change, and the ability to launch, sell, uh, or buy order tickets. I can also sort my watch list here by performance, so I can use it, utilize it as a market scanner, which is quite useful. And I can also do the same with my products. If I want to do it alphabetically, you can do so here. Any chart that you open up within your um, watch list actually will become a save chart as well. Now, this is really, really useful. So. I've opened up a normal chart here, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and stick some uh, basic trend lines on here, just for a quick second. Uh, and when I close this down now, you'll actually see there that the icon has changed from the standard fact sheet icon to this one here with the slight squiggle attached to it, that's supposed to represent a chart. So if I left click copper again, I now have the ability to open up a chart or a save chart, and that obviously speaks for itself. Any analysis that I do in my save chart will automatically be saved. If I click here again and open up an ordinary chart, it will just open up whatever my standard chart lay uh, layout is. Uh, so essentially, it allows you to make the most out of the um, real estate that you've got. And I typically have different uh, watch lists saved with, um, with different charts. And it's a very easy, quick way to get access to my technical analysis and any notes that I've made uh, on any of the products within my watch list. And you guys at home there should set up multiple watch lists for um, a wide variety of different products. And like I said, some of the, my favorite stuff that I like to do directly from here is to map uh, the Reuters news to my watch list. Very good if I've got a, a watch list full of equities and then a different watch list full of commodities and a different watch list full of indices. And it allows me to more easily disseminate that information. Um, so hopefully that gives you a good idea that the, uh, the watch list is a little bit more than just giving you a selection of your favorite products. The features and functionality from this area is actually quite deep.